Hello and welcome back to Josh on YouTube. Today we are talking about how to break 80, a very popular number in golf. And I feel like this is an area where people just don't do the simple things right. So we're gonna be talking all clubs. I'm gonna talk driver first, work our way down through the bag, and then we'll go to the putter. Some really simple tips just to help you get across that line and break that famous 80. Okay, so we're on a tight par four here. OB up the right, hazard down the left. Not much room to hit a bad shot, but with driver, I like to shape the ball. Now, this is a way that I give my brain something to think of and my body to do in the swing. I'm really visualizing a shot. Now, a lot of common faults with people that are over the 80 mark are just not giving themselves a clear enough image of what they want to do. So even if I'm trying to shape this left to right, my, my shot pattern is a fade, or I'm a guy that's got a nice strong draw, you've got to play for that and we've got to give ourselves options. So I'm a guy that likes to draw it. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to aim up the right hand side. So now we already have a bit more room to play with on the left. And I'm just going to make sure 100% that this one draws. So we're aiming up the right, we're gonna go for that shot pattern, a nice little draw. And not a very good strike, but as you can see, we've hit the shot shape that we needed and we're down the middle of the fairway. Even if you're the other way, you know, what I would recommend to people as well is find that ball flight, you know? Get, get that stock shot really in your head. We're gonna aim up the left hand side now and we're gonna hit a fade because some people might be hitting it left to right. So, you know, no matter what shot shape you've got, it's fine, but you've gotta play for it. Um, and you know, you give yourself more room. So now I know that my miss is gonna to be to the right. We're fading it off that target. So we've got a hell of a lot more room to play with. Let's hit this one up the left. And I've really blocked this, but because we're aiming correctly, we might even, I mean, not too bad, it's right rough, but we're still in play. So you've got a long way to miss right and left when you play for that. Now, we're gonna aim dead straight on one, okay? This is where it becomes dangerous. So let's aim down the middle. Now, we've not got much room, right? We've not got much room left. So this shot all of a sudden becomes a lot harder I mean, I've hit one absolutely perfect there, but it becomes a lot harder when you go for that straight shot because you're not giving yourself a clear enough image of what shot you want to hit. You know, you're bringing in the hazard left, you're bringing in the OB right. It, it becomes a tough shot from nowhere, you know? So I'd really envision what shot you want to hit, you know, whether that be aiming up the right, give yourself that room on the left or aim down the left and fade one off of it. So that way you're giving yourself the best chance to hit the fairway. Let's move on to the approach play. So approach play, we've got a flag here at 186 yards. You can see I've moved my mark short and to the left because this pin here is right in that back right corner. Now, very important to say that on approach play, when something is tucked away in a corner, we're going nowhere near it. You know, we're playing for a safe shot. And sometimes it might surprise you that when you play for this spot on the green, this safe spot, you might push it, you know, you might hit a bad shot and it might go close. So, you know, you give yourself a, a miss, you know, you've got a miss right and left now. We're gonna do the same as what we do off the tee as well. My shot pattern is that draw, so I know that I'm gonna hit this one right to left. Um, you know, so if I leave one out there, it might even be on the flagstick. If I pull it, it should be A-OK. -okay. And it's important to, to notice that um, you know, into these positions to the green, you've, you can't miss it on the wrong side. Um, you know, give yourself more room on the left. We know that right is an absolute no-go. So if I miss this one, you know, long and left, we're gonna have a chip shot. So I've just hit an absolute perfect one there to middle of the green. You know, a very safe shot. We're 30 feet away now, putting for birdie. So, you know, we, um, we just make it simple. You know, we hit the simple shots. We don't try and go flag hunting. I'm gonna hit one here with a six iron. 
we're going to try and fade this one into that back right pin. And not a great shot. This one's missing right. You know, in absolute no man's land, we can't make up and down because it's a tough flag. That's where the bogeys and the mistakes come from, you know, whereas when we play for that safe shot, even if we miss it, you know, let's go long left of this green. I'm just going to place one down there. Let's go long left round here. But look at how much green we have to work with now. So it's all about making it simple. You know, if you don't leave yourself a tough chip shot, chipping's not hard. You know, we've got a, a load of green to work with here. We can land this one at about 12 yards. Release one out and you know, it's an easy up and down or easier enough, you know. So these compound mistakes, the doubles and stuff, they only come from a, a bigger mistake off of the tee or into the green. So short games kind of don't leave yourself that really tough shot. Um, you know, if you miss it short side, that's, a, that's an error off the tee. You know, even if you block it right, you shouldn't be going anywhere near that flag. So very important to note that in the approach play, just make sure you're picking them points on the green that, look, if I push it, I'm still going to be okay. I might even be on the flag stick. If I pull it, we're in a good spot anyway. You know, we've got a bunch of green to work with. We can make an easy up and down. So let's go on to short game and talk how you can get the wedges around the greens a little bit tighter. So a very basic bump and run, 23 yards. I'm going to go 56 degree. Now, one thing I love to do with chipping, I mentioned this in a course vlog um, on my channel, but this is how you dial in chipping, right? Is work out your total run out number. So we're just gonna do a trial run on this one, okay? We're 23 yards, right? Let's try and land this at 10 yards and see what our release is. So land this one at 12, releasing out to a total of 21, right? So as I thought, our 56 degree is gonna release around 10 yards, okay? So now I know that when I'm at 23 yards, I know that I've got to pick a spot that's 10 yards short of the flag stick. So on the sim, we can move this, and especially on the course as well, you can just, you can just pace that out, you know? You can, you can go to the flag stick, pace out 10 steps from the flag stick, and you've got this point. So I now know that if I land this 56 degree, 13 yards, we're gonna be pretty close. And 13.5, pretty good. You know, that is how the top guys are doing it on the telly and how they hit it so close every time. They know their run out numbers and you can really start to dial in these wedges when you know that. You know, you pick the points and you know exactly where that point's gonna be. You know, chipping becomes a lot easier and actually you start thinking about making these chips rather than trying to worry about making up and down. So we're gonna go on to the last bit of putting and then we're breaking 80. Okay, I'd love to be on the course to do this one, um, but this one's all, all gonna be about start line. Now, the best way to practice putting for me is to go and find a dead straight putt. Um, you know, you can really work on your stroke, finding out whether that start line is perfect or not. Um, you know, start line for me is everything. If you're getting a good read on the greens, we can do something about green reading soon. I'm gonna do a video on aim point. Um, might go up and see Jamie, have a little lesson, film it all. He's a top bloke and um, aim point really is a, just a different level of putting. So when I figured out aim point, it, it become a lot easier on the greens. But let's talk about putting start line. You know, pick yourself a straight putt go out on the putting green and just hit a bunch of these to figure out, am I starting it online? You know, you start to know after a while, if you get, if you get a six, seven foot putt and you're banging in, you know, 20 out of 20 of these, you're going to start to know that you're hitting pretty good putts. And, um, you know, for breaking 80, these ones here, Inside six foot, you've got to be making these. These are your crucial par putts. You know, you might even have a couple of these for bogey. You really got to make them to keep the doubles off the card. And these keep you round together, you know, the six, seven footers. So practice a bunch of them and, and you'll be good to go. So 
If that video helped you and you did learn anything new, please be sure to smash the like button, subscribe, it's free, and I will see you all for the next one.